It's a school which has had problems in the past and is always going to be a school that's fragile probably because of the nature of its intake. About 70% um, of the children are either on free school meals or have been at some point in the last six years. Also probably about half the children are from single parent families. It started off as just a throwaway remark of why don't we build a house at the school and within half an hour it had become a, a major project. The first time I heard about it was from him, he texted me on my phone and said they're doing some building uh, housing at school and I was like, we should definitely get involved. I've signed you up for this house thing. I'm like, what do you mean house? We've never done it before. As far as we know, no one's done it before. People's first response is, well, that's really exciting, but you know, surely it's far too difficult. The funny thing is that building what you're doing, like back boxes, is probably more complicated than building panels for a house. So this would be an opportunity not only to learn some great skills which would be good for your CVs and good for you in life generally but also learn to lead and to manage other people. What we want to do is to give you some sort of confidence and enthusiasm to realise that you can do things which are substantially bigger than what you probably thought you could. What, what, you would, you, what would you aim for us to get out of it? What's the, what's what the I want point you to get out of it is I, I would like you to feel that you have learnt how to build a house and feel that you could go out afterwards and do it. I would like to go into carpentry now as a job, as a profession. And so if you go there, it's, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good experience because you're going to know what to do. You're going to have a bit of knowledge, understanding, and so yeah, it's good. That's kind of cool. Imagine that. We just imagined what it could look like. Yeah. I thought that we might have been giving them a talk and trying to persuade them that this was a project that was worth getting involved with. But there was a level of enthusiasm and more importantly, this, this the fact that they're looking ahead to the future and saying that it will enable them to make life choices about whether they become architects or builders or carpenters or whether they just use it as an entry to university. I'm interested in studying architecture at university, so I think this is obviously very relevant. It will help us achieve something that's big and something that you think we can do at our age. My granddad's an electrician, and my other granddad used to be a carpenter. I want to be someone who's actually practical. Like every day I'm actually doing something to keep me active. But I think it's the best job for me because I'm, I'm very impatient. I like to be doing something. If I'm just sit, sat down just doing paperwork, then it's not, it's not for me. I couldn't do that for the rest of my life. I'm Charlie Brentnell. I worked in construction and uh, carpentry for 33 years now. So I'm going to be working with you guys throughout the, the year. So they're launching into building the ladder frame. So this group have already built models and this week they're going to go um, and start making the real thing. Do you know what it is? I'm used to site work. I, well, I've worked on site, so to sort of think that these students are going to do site work, I'm thinking, OK. Let's see. But as, as we've sort of more people have got involved and, and we've got a lot of good talent here and that, I'm sort of thinking, yeah, this is going to go. Hold that level, keep pressure on it going down. We get told that we just, we're just into crime and we've got nothing in the future. But if we all work together, we can show the community that we've got something to do in forward and life. All right, come on, you got to do it. Do what? Drill the owls, I'm not doing anything for you. Drill the owls. You've got to do a little bit of both this time. You've got to go this side. Once you get started, you go over to here and you check whether you're not leaning that way. Is that straight? No, which way should it go? Move it. There you are. You've got it. You know what you're doing, don't you? Good man. I was a bad teenager. I had a, a confrontation with my dad on a regular basis at 15. I just thought I knew. I knew what life was about and, I, and, and he didn't know diddly squat. I sort of almost expect that. I want them to sort of, sort of turn it around and redirect their energies towards engaging. How did you do guys? Do you like it? Yeah. We can build a house easily, can't we? Safety is kind of paramount importance. We're kind of drilling home to them today that sometimes we're going to need quiet, you know, and the discipline of, of shutting up and listening when you need that is really important. Go on, all of you, go over there. Put the drills down. Kai, put the drill down. 
if you are ignoring me, what you're saying is that you're not interested in this work and you don't want to be here, okay? Any messing around, you're out. Most Mondays, there'd be a time in the morning where you'd be thinking, why am I doing this? What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know, mm -hmm. and you sort of think, oh, no, this is dreadful. And a real low point was where I found my guys trying to saw down the cherry tree. And the school said, enough's enough. You, you've got to turn, you know, turn yourselves around, guys. We've got delivery coming any minute now. It's taking most of the morning to get everyone with their boots on. It's going to be a good dummy run for working on site. And so far, they've really responded well, so their behaviour's been completely different, you know, and once they've had to come outside, they're just enjoying themselves, engaged with what they're doing, and, and going on. What's the word for them, boys? We're building a timber frame house. Oh, that's heavy. That's mad heavy, bro. They've been cooped up in that classroom for nearly a couple of months now. I think they were getting bored. So to get them out here, it's broken that monotony a bit. But they've done really good out here. Really impressed. Pairs, everything in pairs, guys. I'm working with a lot of people, so I have to make sure that I'm being sensible and I'm aware of my surroundings and stuff. We've got to get this frame up and moving so that the kids, most importantly, actually realise that it's a real building project. As soon as the walls go up, as soon as the roof goes up, they'll say, aha, uh -huh, that's what it was all about. Put your poles, get your poles up there. We're actually That's beginning it. to see like the actual house being built and then it's quite exciting really. Because the fact that I'm 13 years old, I'm uh, help, uh, helping build a house. You got it, you got it, it's easy. It's so much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. I know all the insides won't be done and I know there'll be bits and pieces missing. But I think it's really important for the kids now that we see something. I want to see a house. That's it. That's what I like. There. Yeah. And let's open the front door. Yeah. We finally got yeah. a structure. Amazing. Really pleased. My senior staff have been kind of, you know, oh, Sally's little project, not really going to happen. Um, but suddenly people are starting to believe it really is going to happen. It's that feeling you get when you open the front door to the house and you know that I spent my days and hours trying to build this and you know that you were part of it. It's really good to be committed to something like this. Like, I just can't wait for it to be open. Show sure, everyone. Underpinning it all is this whole principle of kids realising that they can do it. You know, they are able to actually build a house. A lot of these pupils, they're just not cut out for academic work. I know they have to do it because they're at school, but actually they could be really good craftspeople given the opportunity and I really hope that this project actually does capture some of those pupils and make them realise that they've got a future. The children I've put forward are a kind of mixture of those children who have always been on track and the other children are those that have been on the edge at times, maybe even sometimes fallen off it. They've just got to have that kind of belief in themselves and to to realise that that's easily within their range as yeah. long as they apply themselves. I want to be going into like carpentry and stuff when I, when I get older. It's a good experience. This young man, Kyan, he's actually excluded from school. He's actually, you know, he's actually stepped over the line in such a way that he was on an expulsion route. And I suggested that we try and pull that back. The best thing, um, most of my lessons are based around this, like the house project. Like when I get older, the school's going to write a reference and saying that um, I helped build a house and it's interesting me more because I've got something more to like get, look forward to. Neil N. Keep going. Keep going. Where are your bush food out, one? 
Kai. You see the holes you've made. Yeah. I hope they carry on and go into construction. Get a, a trade and travel. Go and travel the world. The uh, new apprentices, combination of school children who are only sort of dropping in and out on a 45 minute session or a double session and consistency where Jay, who's returned to, to this school, which he studied at, and he's now working full time as an as a on-site apprentice. Now I'm, I'm able to just be here and supervise. And before I was being supervised, but now it feels like I've stepped up the mark a bit. I, I've just enjoyed all of this and yeah, it's been fun with Jay and Frank. These year eight girls, They've done most of it. They've done most of the student work. When the roofers was here, they, went, they were so adamant to get on top of the roof just to lay tiles down. It was, it was out of this world. She just kind of focused in and, and Jay came along at one point and was telling her to do this and she actually corrected yeah, him. Yeah, she and, corrected him. Yeah, <laughs> so she was really good. Like really, all of, all of these guys have got a lot of potential really. Let's use this floorboard here to get our lines good, okay? The envelope of the house has been done now, insulated, panelled, built the fireplace, floor frame in, put the windows in, started boarding, front door on, so we're ready. We're kind of on the final leg now, a lot of the finishing carpentry and finishing decoration, and then we should be there, fingers crossed. It's starting to make sense because before it really, we thought we were just making pieces of wood, like panels and walls and things, but now that you see it um, all put together, you can really see why you need to do certain things. The involvement of the students, I think, has been amazing. Uh, you can see the enthusiasm and, and the, uh, the benefit that it's given our, our students, so that the club, the after-school club, has been very well attended. Put it, put it where the green thing is. Cool. At any one time, we'll be building about 120 houses. When Roderick first introduced this to us, he did tell me that building a house was easier building a bat box. At first, I didn't really believe him. But when you come to realise, building a house is simple joints put together. Obviously, it's bigger, it's on a larger scale. But it is easier. I have to say, it is much easier. Like when, like that's why construction is like one of like my favourite lessons because you come out, you work, and you're not just doing one thing; you're always doing different things. So it's exciting. Before I didn't think it was actually going to happen, but now seeing it all together, like a lot of our work's going to be on it. So like then it's going to feel like we done we done it ourselves. We've done things from the very beginning, from the plans to the to the walls to like the panels. We've done everything for ourselves. To prove to someone that you can store all that knowledge into your brain, that's like amazing. You should be proud of yourself. I think this year was the first year I've ever seen the chisel this big. When I see the outcome of it, I'm like, yeah, that's that's wicked. That's what I made that. It feels like I've created a home, but it's like with the school and the community. It's a big achievement to be able to build something like that. My mum says follow your dream. If you feel like construction your thing, then go ahead and do it. No matter what anyone tells you, always do what you think is right because it's your life, so you do it. Uh, don't let anyone stop you. When you leave school, leave university, you've got to be able to enjoy your life. We want to enable people to feel, get the self-esteem and self-confidence and also the, the sheer, I think, excitement of having done something for themselves. Children making houses, it's unbelievable really.